So guys, bad news or good news or something, but Haku here with the Elf Samu Yasurara Nai episode or chapter 6 and 7 read through. So, bad news is that uh, when I recorded this the first time, I recorded something else at the same time as well, and the audio for those recordings was lost. So, needless to say, your boy was pretty pissed, but other than that, um, yeah, I've decided that I still want to keep doing the read through, of course, so you know what I'm just going to do? Just going to reread it. <laughs> just going to read 6 and 7 again, so sadly you won't be seeing my first time reading it, but uh, I'm very, very excited to read it again because I've been trying a lot of just little manga here and there lately, seeing, you know, maybe if it's like nothing else I've wanted to do a read through for the channel yet, but. Um, just overall, this manga, I've really, really liked it. It's only seven chapters so far, but I've really enjoyed it. It just feels unique, it's funny, uh, I have fun reading it. And I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll be rereading 6 and 7. It's just, I'm warning you that it's not my very first time reading, so you're not seeing my very first reaction. Uh, but I hope you will still uh, read along with me and uh, maybe enjoy my uh, thoughts and discussion as I read through this time. Uh, but either way, let's... Uh, Let's get to reading, I suppose. And we are at chapter 6 now, appointment 6, Baroness Dog. The Doggo-san, the Awu-san, who is... Mm, I, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't read yet, but I will say that it's hard to decide who is best girl between her and Erufuda. And, um, gosh, I guess all the girls are great, though. I mean, could Oeda and Oga are up there for me, too. I also like Kusa Hanada, she's pretty stacked. Um, Mero as well is a nice character. Uh, maybe, Mero is maybe the least attractive to me, but still, still, Mero is nice. Uh, so either way, let's go ahead and read. On this refreshing early summer morning, I am going out for a run. You're so slow, pick up the, pla pick up the pace, you slackers, says uh, Erufuda. And of course, they're all in their cute jogging clothes. Gonna take a closer look at that. <laughs> Love uh, Oga in the background there. With these people, question mark. Okay. This all started a few days ago. Human? Yes, after treatment. Are you doing anything on Sunday morning? No, why do you ask? I've been on many different kinds of diets, and from them I've learned two things. The first is that exercise, especially running, will get you the best results. I've been told I'm well suited to cardio. And the second is... French fries eaten after a run are incredibly delicious, <laughs> and I love that panel. Erufuda, best girl. Um, so I'd like to go, or so I'd like for you to go running with me, human. Invite the others too. I don't think fries should be part of your fitness plan. That's why we're here. I, I can't. I'm drying out. This is Mero. This is impossible. Kudoeda. I'm withering. Kusa Hanada, out of shape. And Kusa Hanada is just. Very, very stacked. And the thing is, her belly, she's not even, like, big. She's still pretty skinny. She just has massive, massive flower jubblies. Um, can't you at least go another five minutes? Says, um, Erufuda. There was the, uh, Oga throwing up, hungover. And you, go home already. Let's stop for a bit, please. Phew. Phew, my ass. You better not be getting comfortable here. Running is tougher than I thought. Let's call it a day. Huh? And then her shirt says fried this time. Glug, glug, glug. We have Miro just shoving her face into a pan of water. I also think we should take it easy, says Kusa Hanada. It looks like she has a watering can she's watering herself with. I always feel refreshed after a good puke, says <laughs> um, Oga laughing. If you're going to drink, don't get swallowed up by the, er, don't get swallowed up by the booze instead. Then Bottle says, Turmeric Ogre. If the meatball if the meatball wants to run so badly, she can ask her partner, the human, says Kudoeda. What? You're all really going to give up? Really. Now we have Oh, I remember bringing up in my first read through these two panels up top here on page five of uh, chapter six is uh the author showing off or the mangaka showing off, hey, I can draw really, really well when I'm drawing normal generic stuff. I just want to show you how good my art is. Okay, now back to the comedy. And then they just go back to the comedic style of drawing. Um, 
Ugh, why those? After I went through so much trouble to invite them, one day I'll put Nero in them, says uh, Kuro, er, Edufuda. Um, don't worry about it. Even if you force them to continue, they'd end up hurting themselves. Come on, let's keep going, says uh, Nawe, I believe was his name. Uh, ah, a fork in the road. Which path should we take? Nobody ever goes down the road on the right. Huh, do you know this area well? I know I'd like the back of my hand, she says. This is the door back to my home world. And then the door is just this random welcome entrance parallel world. Just this random ass door in an underpass it looks like. You mean the other worlds? Yeah, this is where we come and go. You might, er, you think I might be able to travel there as well. Only if you have the magical power. I understand. So you know they're going there eventually. They're going to that world eventually. We're going to have an isekai arc at some point in this. Even though I don't think arcs is the proper thing to call it in an episodic like comedy like this, but still. If I recall correctly, there is a storage bunker dating back to world this is a storage bunker dating back to World War Two. Alright, I need to lose weight so I can return home, so let's keep running. Y yeah, that's right. Hey human, don't make don't make me leave you behind. Actually, could you stop for a second? Then it's a dog park, and a huge one at that. Hmm? What's that dog doing all by itself? I love this so much. I can't tell, is it walking or running? I want, or want to find out? What? A french fry. Any animal would come running to nibble on one of these. Where were you holding that? Take this, she says, throwing it. And then we see the dog moving towards it. So slow. So cute, how slow. It's really tearing into that fry. How cute, he says. But what do you want, says Edufuda. It wants another fry. Wow, this dog's pretty big, isn't it? And it's also kind of fat. But animals are way cuter when they're fat. <laughs> it is so cute. Ever since I was a child, I dreamed of owning a dog. He just rubs it all over. Good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog. She's just chasing her around, rubbing her. Doesn't strike me as a dog person, and the dog's just slowly trying to run away as he's rubbing it and doting all over it. St stop! And then transforms into a human with dog tails, or with a dog tail and ears. And, oh man, it's hard to say. Edufuda is just so funny. I think that's why she's best girl, but man, she could be, like, new girl could be a waifu and a dog. That's like two things everybody wants. Man, to think a lower animal would. <laughs> Bottom panel, Edufuda's face. Uh, Edufuda-san, wh why did that dog turn into... Seems like she isn't your average dog, she's a lycanthrop. Eh? Also known as a werewolf, or lycanthrope, either way. What are you doing, a werewolf? Since they're at the top of the food chain, their pride is off the charts. These guys are a common species, hard to please and difficult to deal with. No, we're not like that. It reeks of oil, and must be that damned elf. R reeks We don't reek. Elves have a floral fragrance. St stop. She has a dog's sense of smell, so she's just smelling the fries in your pocket. Calm down. I, I'm not a dog. Go away already. You're interrupting Rika's exercise. Exercise? Let me stop you right there, human. Overall, she's got a pretty round silhouette. And judging by how heavily she stomps around, we can only come to one conclusion. You need to go on a diet, you fat dog. Awoo, oh, I'm a wolf. Whenever Rika is around humans, they bring her more tribute than she can handle. Rika cannot bring herself to save it for later. So, so when she eats everything, Rika... I love Rika. Rika is so cute. Both his dog and human form. Gets kind of chubby. Awoo. Oh. That's why Rika has been running with all her might, but not really losing any weight. It's those damn humans' fault. They only hand over food packed with calories. How ungrateful, <laughs> now I think. It's the humans' fault, that's for sure. They should not be so eager to feed a stray dog. Who, who are you calling a stray dog, you greasy elf? That's rich coming from you. I can see the grease shining on that coat of yours. <laughs> and if we're not ready to fight again. Please excuse her behavior and mine earlier when I was grabbing you. I was merely trying to give you a massage. It can really help with the weight loss when it's included in a strict diet and exercise regimen. And again, they keep going on about this massage stuff, but I I don't quite know the science behind that, but that doesn't seem quite true to me. Either way, seems like snake oil. Either way, 
but Rika can't keep running. Her body feels heavy. I suppose it wouldn't be much of a workout if you stopped here, so I recommend stretching. Yes, hold that pose for 10 seconds and remember to breathe. And now time for the uh, informational part of the chapter. Why do I have to do it too? Says um, Edifida. Also, mad respects for this whole etchy comedy to not get all fan servicey with the stretching, you know? A good place to stretch is somewhere you don't feel embarrassed to stretch, even if you're not that good at it. And most importantly, a place where you can do it easily. You can expect to see results if you stretch for 5 to 10 minutes every day. The best time to do it is right after a bath. Stretches that involve the hips are best as it's an area dense with muscle. Steadily loosen up your muscles so that you can drain your lymph. Of course, stretching is very, very good for you. Me speaking myself. Um, my body's all warmed up, even though I barely moved at all, says uh, Rika. Stretching. You can't deny it works. Right. Whether you're relaxing or recovering from exhaustion, it produces results. That's why I recommend it after you give up on a workout. Even though you're a human, you're an amazing coach. You get the special privilege of joining Rika's pack. No, no, that's fine. Pack? Uh, Edufrida-san? Naturally, werewolves tend to only include other werewolves in their packs, but rarely an outsider will be allowed to join them. Seems like she's judged you worthy. Rika's new boss. You really left a good impression. Keep going, you should teach her to shake. Shake, he says. And she, gra <laughs> she grabs his arm. No, I, my body acted on its own. I didn't mean to shake. And she grabs his arm again. Sit. She sits down. Why, you, you're only doing this to get rewarded with a treat. That's not true. Now beg. I'm kidding, it was a joke. And then, uh, she start, she's trying her best not to give in. I'm absolutely not going to beg. Ah, I'm sorry. Ah, I can't, I can't beg. I can't stop begging. I can't stop begging. And she begs and becomes more wolf-like. He, p p please forgive me. Very cunning, you very cunning human, you pervert. What's this form called? Doesn't it sound like a place in Holland or something? You mean lycanthrop? This is their natural form. She can't keep herself in human mode anymore thanks to you. They will follow an order from the pack leader without question. When you taught her to stretch, she subconsciously established you as her pack leader. I sincerely apologize, he says. Then again, between all that begging and crying, this miserable mud is pretty pathetic. Edufudasan. What? Are you making fun of Rika? She's getting angry. Really? To think you would dare defy an elf? Looks like I have to teach you a lesson, she says, cracking her knuckles. And then is left all tied up in her sweaty shirt by Rika. Gross. Oh, that's nasty. Why do I have to suffer like this? Just, er, just as you'd expect. Rika went a bit too far. Sorry. rika san it's not your fault. Hey, yarufuda san Ugh, my bad. You're both diet partners. I guess you could say you should be friends. Let's make peace. Here's a fry. Thanks. Hey, don't eat that. What about your diet? And again, I love that chapter. Very, very good. And Rika, it's hard to not say Rika's a besto. Because, I mean, like I said, she, she could be a dog. She could be a waifu. Even if you're a furry, she can be in between for you. So, um, yeah, she's like very, very, um, flexible waifu, is that what the way to put it? I mean, I guess she was stretching. Either way, chubby dog girl is cute. Um, Edufida, though, hard to not say Edufida's best girl. All of them are great, though. Either way, moving along, now we get Appointment 7, Floating Pig. In this world, lack of exercise, stress, and the calories piling up, and now more and more... People from the other world are piling up as well. Now a Tome Tomoatsu, human, Seitai practitioner. Edufuda, elf, gained weight and wants to slim down. Kudueda, dark elf, gained weight and wants to slim down. For these girls, modern Japanese food culture is very tempting. Without resisting its allure, they quickly fattened up. Imagine if it was modern American food culture. There would be much more. Also, I love the, um, the attention to detail the character... Or the, the, character, the mangaka puts into drawing each of their different body shapes. Like how each of them have like different um, sort of stomach, like waistline, different silhouettes, different um, breast sizes, different arm and leg shapes and sizes. I like that he draws every character with that uh, attention to having different uh, physiology with each of them. 
whereas a lot of mangaka that, I mean, that's the hentai mangaka for you, or a lot of mangaka that haven't done hentai in the past, you see, like, all their characters look like the same body with a different head and outfit on. So, uh, I do, I do respect art a lot from mangaka who have done hentai in the past, just because usually it tends to be really, really good art shot from unique angles, different angles, and it's, especially the character designs, typically seem to be really good compared to mangaka that haven't done hentai. But either way, that's just some uh, thoughts I've said before. Um, so I started helping them out with their diets. I, Nawe Tomoatsu, what are you stretching? And they're stretching their ears. Since it's deserted at night, I took these girls to the pool at a gym. Foo foo foo. Wah, well, stop, why are you so fixated on that place? And they're still moving their ears. Speaking of swimming, it's my turn. Marrow, mermaid, gain weights and wants to swim down, or wants to slim down. And she, of course, has the, uh, little bit of chubby arms. Can't wait to dive into this clear water. Hope. And she dives in. Oh no, chlorine. I forgot we're not supposed to swim in it. Get her out, hurry. And of course, the same joke they did uh, with Meru from Manmusu, but it works. And it may even be a nod to that. Ara ara. Are you okay, Meru chan? Kusahanada. Alran. Gained weight and wants to slim down. And of course, very, very, very stacked. I should be asking you that question. It's huge. Hasn't it become kind of huge? There's a bit more tension now. Oops, looks like I watered it a bit too much and the flower in her head just keeps growing till it's massive. Don't suck up the pool water. Get those two out of the water now. Calm down, says Oga. And Oga, again, really hard to not say she could be a best girl because she has that kind of muscular look plus nice big jubblies. Very, very top waifu status. Oga, ogre, gained weight and wants to slim down. Up you go, come on, she grabs both of them by the swimsuit. Off we go, don't carry them like that. And of course, uh, Kusahana does. Quite shape, quite shapely, more shapely than uh, Mero. But uh, also now noticing Oga, very nice as well. Jeez, I hope they're okay, it says turning, looking at Raika. And hello Raika, Raika is pretty great looking as well. So many waifus, too many waifus. Raika, lycanthrope, gained weight and wants to slim down. I love how all their bios are the same. Raika may be a wolf, but she's a great swimmer. Watch, see? Doggy paddle, he thinks. So slow. I also love how Raika's just so slow. Human, we're done with our warm-ups. Ah, good work. Anyway, why are we going swimming in the first place? Says Eruvida. Bet he just wants to ogle girls in swimsuits. That's not true. And could have waited a second. Um... Swimming and dieting work very well in combination. Moving underwater uses a lot of energy compared to moving on land. Fighting water resistance uses a balance of all the body's muscles, and because of the body's buoyancy, it doesn't place as much stress on your joints, which reduces joint pain. Again, yeah, very true. Swimming is great because of the uh, lack of uh, joint pain, whereas running will really mess up your joints if you do too much. Uh, I understand the eat more calories, burn more calorie, calorie strategy, says <laughs> Hyderabada. Maybe you should try the hold back on the fries strategy. No way. So cute. Swimming's perfect for me, but this balloon elf is too buoyant to stay in the water. What? You're one to talk. Your ass is so heavy you'll sink like a rock, dumbbell ass. It's not that heavy, you hateful meaty elf. No more meaty than you. I love when they fight and they're insults for each other. Okay, how about we race then? Fine. First one to the other side wins. I can already see that face of yours stained with tears after you lose. I'm picturing yours looking the same right now. Human, give us the signal. Huh? Y yeah. Okay. Ready? Go. And they, <laughs> they um, well, Edufada just sinks, but um, dumbbell ass is actually buoyant ass. You should have told me that you can't swim, says Naoi after pulling the two of them out. Walking underwater is just about as effective as swimming, you should, so you should do that instead. I thought I was going to die. Okay, we will. Walking while swim, swinging your arms around is all you need to do for a tough full body workout. You should get right back in and do 30 minutes of water walking. Find an empty lane and... What the? I didn't see her come in. What? Boss... 
Hino Akiho, Chief Practitioner, Nowe's employer. What a coincidence, huh? I never thought I'd see you here. She looks exactly like his boss. You also came here for a swim. How was it? Uh, I think you've got the wrong person. No, no. What are you talking about, boss? I'm not your boss. Eh, uh, isn't that Ino-san? Actually, my name is Oku. And, hello, Oku. I'm not your boss. <laughs> Well, they certainly look alike, although she so does seem to be a little bit bigger overall. I apologize, I mistook you for someone else. It's fine. Well, I guess I, I guess I really look like... I'm very sorry about that. Boo-foo-foo. It's okay. Anyway, it's pretty busy here right now. Sorry for making such a racket. Ah, it's fine. To be honest, I just moved here recently, and I haven't made many friends yet, so I'm a little jealous. Is that so? Then we see uh, Ed over now won the water walking. We're done. Good work. Are you really? <laughs> Her legs are shaking. I'd really prefer an easier method, or easier weight loss method. If you clean up your diet, you can remove some of the difficulty. I refuse. You should add some high quality protein to your vegetable focused diet, especially pork, which is rich in nutrients like vitamin B1 and carotene. Profound knowledge, thigh filet. I recommend thigh and filet. Elves don't eat meat. Highly recommend eating pork to your di or highly recommend adding pork to your diet. What are you looking at? <laughs> She's looking at the uh, viewer. Don't eat the piggies, says Oku, revealing her pig ears. Eh? Your ears? Erufudasan? Yeah, I was busy losing weight, so I didn't notice. You're you're an orc. And she has a pigtail as well. Also quite cute looking. Orc. Just like us, elves in parentheses, they're a species that lives in the woods. However, orcs differ from elves that both male and females have very plump bodies. In other words, they're like, or they're pig elves, or something like that. That's not true, she says. Of course, I got a little excited about my love for piggies, but... A little? He thinks. Did you come here to lose weight? Yes. The elves and all the others called me names, but we, well, we are a bit husky compared to other races. And because of that, they called me brutish, stupid, and so on. They made light of me, but I felt heavy on the inside. She's pretty calm about all this, thinks Nawe. Then, I remembered an orc legend from our tribe, one passed down through the ages. Over here, orcs have a secret technique to lose weight. Okay. And then I found- er, hold on, did I miss something? No, no, I didn't. I didn't scroll down all the way I was thinking. And then I found it. The secret technique is called diet. Okusan, just after arriving. Okusan is cute in her hoodie and stuff. My heavy body was particularly suited for swimming. I attempted the trial, and the payoff was incredible. We see that she has lost quite a bit of weight. If I study the secret technique a bit more, I can return home, and our orc tribe will be saved. Please follow her example. Now he says, looking at Erufida. Erufida. But if an orc can lose so much weight, swimming must be the real deal, says Kurueda. I've certainly never seen an orc this slim before, says um, Erufda. Is that so? Even though she's an orc. Please, you're embarrassing me, Bufufu. They're making light of her. Come to think of it, none of you know how to swim, do you? Eh, <laughs> uh, no, just these two. Eh, if that's the case, would you like me to teach you? Then she has them doing uh, practice swimming on the ground. And I love too how, um, uh, well, how diligent Kuroeda always is. Why are we doing this? We're practicing the proper form for the breaststroke. Breaststroke, and then Kuroeda is just silently, diligently going. Ah, that's right. How about you watch me do a lap in the pool? That would be an easy way to learn, right? Watch carefully so you can get a feel for it. Okay, here we go. And then she just flies down the uh, lane. How'd I do? Do you get it now? Wasn't that form different somehow? Alright, you two give it a try. I'll be swimming in the lane beside you. She was like a dolphin. Dolphin is written with the characters for sea pig. You could say she was a sea pig, alright. Yeah, sea pig. A sea pig. Is there a hidden meaning here, or is it just my imagination? Um, thanks, uh, now I, I don't think I learned a thing watching her. Yeah, what do we do? What do we do? Well, I... Well, my legs feel like jelly, so I don't feel like swimming anymore. In your case, it's more like fat than jelly. 
Dark elves should be killed. <laughs> I love just the immediate reaction. Dark elves should be killed. Wait, don't fight by the pull side. It's dangerous. <laughs> ah, and then the I love the um, sort of a uh, labeling elf leg. Eh, and then they fall into the uh, pool again. Glug glug. Hey, let go. Now he's trying to uh, get up and out of Daz, clinging to him. Glug glug. Whew, all finished. What's that? Er, how's that? Were you watching? Rika's a really good swimmer, she says. <laughs> Poor Rika just now finally finished. I said watch, she says, and she yells from the other uh, side, of, side of the pool. They sure are noisy, says Oga, sitting outside with Kusahanada and Nero. Okay, now we're back to the massage parlor, or whatever they would call it, Seitai or something, I guess. Ah, of course, swimming is okay once in a while, says Edufida. Oh, for crying out loud. And then we see the real boss. Edufida-chan, yahoo. Nawe-kun, you have a guest. Please, come say hello. Ah, right away. Who, who the hell would interrupt my therapy time, says Edufida. Sorry about that. I'll be back in a second. Okusan, what's wrong? That body. Oh, human-san. It's Nawe. And, uh, she's actually kind of cute like this. I, I don't know. I think she's cute in the uh, hoodie. The gym pool is being remodeled, right? Yes, I've been told it will take up to a year to complete. The swimming diet was the only method I knew, but my body weight shot back up immediately. Please help me. Teach me how to get thin. In this world, people from another world are piling up. Looks like I'm going to be busy again. And that is it. Very, very fun. I, I really, really like this manga. But uh, either way, I had fun rereading that. I enjoyed that second chapter, chapter 7. And I'll be back to do a read-through video on chapter 8 whenever it's out. So uh, either way, right now I'm thinking best girl is Edufuda, but Raika is definitely close. And hmm, who would I say would be next? Maybe maybe Oga. Oga is pretty nice. Kusa Hanada, then... Uh, I, oh, I'm forgetting Kurawaita. Uh, maybe Kota Waita before Kusanada. I don't know. It's very difficult to decide. And then second to last would be Oku, who is very nice. And Mero, again, still very nice, but in last place out of all the very, very nice, <laughs> very, very nice uh, chubby monster girl ladies. So, um, yeah, that would be it. Either way, like if you did like the video and comment down there to tell me what you thought of these two chapters, what you thought of whatever. Um... <laughs> I guess uh, subscribe for more of this, much more on the channel. If you got any other manga you want me to look into, maybe for the channel, maybe not for the channel, you can suggest whatever, anything you think I can improve on, whatever. Um, then uh, subscribe. I suppose, or I just said subscribe. So like, comment, subscribe. Follow on Twitter if you want. I'll try. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. Um, if you want a link to our Discord server, then um, I'd be totally happy to give you one of those. Just ask and you shall receive. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.